Alright people, welcome back to some more Down to Commentary. So once again we have made Chaos here. Hi, I'm here Chaos here again. So we have Ro Ros Rossio? Rossio Malt? I'm just gonna call you Ross. <laughs> at 9.40 we got Pentagons at 11.09 and clearly we are seeing some uh, spiritual beasts. You didn't open up yeah, that well. Yep. Yeah. Spiritual I really don't beast. like that deck anymore at all. <laughs> it's just about that Conahawk looping, and that's it. Yeah, you know, that's all it does. Conahawk looping, my driven frenities. Oh, that's just Tell Knights. Uh oh, I I hear Tell Knights went back to just going pure Tell Knights. They're like, nope, this fucking uh, synth is not working out for us. Yeah, Star Seraphs are not that great in the deck because of the deck already rel relies on a normal summoning. Yeah, so. And the Star Self engine is not very consistent either. Do you should all still use it as more light targets? For... Yeah, should all still use it mostly. Mm -hmm. He threw that effect veil at him. Which is funny because Pentagon, when you get that effect veil thrown at you, you just end up losing. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> this man. Hmm, okay. I didn't know they played Bond. Damn, he's gonna go for the blind space. And he hit the Bond, okay. So, can he play his, uh, revival card right now? Mm hmm. Well, I can't see the graveyard. Yeah. Alright, so, they got- damn. <laughs> Are we really gonna have another freaking just quick one? Yeah, I guess it will be twice stint a uh, throw very well. Yeah, because you that drew. Deck, uh, kind of freak, um, I didn't even know they play Bond. Do they? Yeah, they do. At least one of them. Oh, okay. Damn. Alright, well. Wait for the siding. Alright. Ross is done waiting for, pen for uh, Pentagon. Alright, back people. So. The thing that I find interesting about Ross is that he is running more than uh, 40 cards. Yep. And Teller Knight's like, okay. Oh, okay. I can never go above uh, 40 cards. <laughs> oh, as long as he has a nuke to be summoned to up with his consistency of sending the Neb. I finally realized the importance of a nuke. <laughs> At first I didn't really get it, but now I get it. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty important for the deck. Yeah. You need to send if you don't ha open up with a Deneb. He's just kind of dead late game, but at least he's still an 18 meter. Yep. Damn, Pete. I'm sorry. Did you did you open up bad? Look like you opened up bad again. Yeah, seems like it. But I don't know what you're doing with your... Uh, Ritual Beast. Most of the time when I, when I duel against them, they always open up with the kind of hot Tetris house Yeah, the broken combo all the time. Mm -hmm, all the time. <laughs> At least. Even when I dueled it at the regionals. <clears throat> Damn. Alright. So. Yeah, back row fight. Yep, back row fight. <laughs> but... That blind MST at all. That blind MST! On five back row. Don't... Do they usually have big booties? Yep. Yep. <laughs> so... Unless you do something to overextend. Oh! Why don't you do that to begin with? Yep, Altar. Okay, I mean, I'm assuming you have a Nova back there, so... Like, see, now you flipped up the frickin' the tamer, now he can frickin' steeze your ass. You want me uh, to by the way, yeah, what do you think about Satellites getting hit in the next panelist? Yes. I don't know what they're gonna hit. Right now, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Triv. That's what I'm pointing my finger at. Multiple Trivs is dumb. I think it's either Contra Trap or Altar. I'm not gonna hit Altair. Altar to two maybe and contra trap to one. 
It seems like it seems kind of obvious that Konami doesn't care about that shit anymore with putting Wolf Bark back up to three. So, yeah, I guess and I don't think they want to kill the deck. I think they I think they're gonna either hit Triv to, like, probably one. Not sure. And that I think you need too much. One Triv? That does a lot. Most of the time they mul they go multiple trips each duel, like two, three Yeah, that's trips. true, I guess. Yeah. They can still recycle it for with Sirius and all that. I don't even think they play Sirius. Yeah, many don't. I still think it's pretty necessary. Why for... don't you chain that? You know he has the Altai Air in hand. You just saw him search it. Whatever. I guess doesn't want to take the, take the risk or something. Whatever. <laughs> or just misplay it. <laughs> I was also thinking about dropping Deneb to two to lower the consistency, like what they did with uh, Cleese. Yeah, it still doesn't do much for. Well, it's just the initial hit. It's not the one that's that's yeah. not the killing hit. I was thinking about hitting the counter trap, but then I was like, well, the only reason, the only counter trap that they hit off a of set precedence was uh, what barrier. You get infinity barrier. Yeah, but that's searchable, so that's probably the reason why they hit it. I, I, what's five? Okay, I guess. <laughs> Some rulings with the TCG and the OCG are just different. Yeah, they are sometimes different. Yeah, like what the monster has to resolve on the field. Yep. Has to resolve where it's at in TCG. That Blackhorn ruling in TCG caught me off guard. I was like, wow. Go ahead and make Blackhorn yep, even more. Yep, can negate the whole pendulum summon with that card. Yep, and they all go to the graveyard. I'm like, damn, I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I always thought Blackhorn was busted. <clears throat> but this is no, ridiculous. Not really. <laughs> what? They can stop Synchros, Xyz, and Pendulum? Like, with no cost at all? Like, damn. That's ridiculous. Stop all Inherent Summons to the power well, of Blackhorn. That seems quite unusual that no one really plays it then. That's true. Blackhorn's popular. What? It's a fine deck. I just don't know why he, he's deck. fucking sitting there with Mind Crush when he know, nigga, nigga. You know he has the all tire. You just saw him search it. He had two Mind Crushes. Like whatever. You could have went activate Mind Crush, call the all tire, activate the Mind Crush, call the call of the hunter that he didn't set. Like, this is sad. This this is this this, this is sad. <laughs> yep, right there. You, you fuck, you done goofed. You done fucked up. Yeah, this two match is pretty much over. Yep. Wonder if... that's, why, that's why they are pretty much the best rank for deck currently. Yep. Wonder what you're also gonna get hit with. I think uh, Air Shuttle Construct 1. I'm not sure if they're gonna be so extreme to just copy off the OCG and ban construct. I'm like, yeah, because that's a little no, bit extreme. Probably not banning, but probably to one. Yeah. So, another Deltaros. Alright. So, just completely make him have nothing. No man, really wanted to clear out the back row. I guess. Oh, I forgot he didn't attack yet. Damn. All right, that's it. That's it. Yep. Not even Regeki can save you. That's it. GG. Scop it up. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> man, like no, nah, no, nah. no man. You you just got crushed. <laughs> That was, that was, that it was kind was of sad. Slow. Very sad. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna get a single in. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I wonder yeah. if this soul sucking death worm is following us, because he's been here for multiple. <laughs> we got, uh. Is that just bold or blood or something like that? Bold? I don't know. Uh, how, how would you say his name? No idea. Just blood. Or blood, whatever. Okay, blood, alright. With 1122. 
Damn, he's gonna go ahead and Watch him when I spark. That's I'm gonna that bitch. Old school cards. Uh, yeah, old school heroes. <laughs> Versus, I'm just gonna call you bald. <laughs> 516, so UA versus hero, so this is actually a nice single deck. Damn, he's just summoning the aliens. <laughs> he's gonna beat you. Aren't you beat it? Go ahead and Gemini spark you. Damn. So his uh, middle filter got wrecked. Interesting yeah, BLS. That's the K cards. Yep. Who is it? Freaking uh, De Sigma, only running two right now. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, we need three definitely. I'm like, no. I don't like the idea of running, you know. He doesn't like the idea of running three for three. Cause then, yeah, but you can run that assault halberd. I think he took that out. Yeah, I think he after he saw a signing deal, he just took out all of his uh, non UA cards and just made a pure UA deck. I also don't really like uh, penalty box. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, it's not an amazing card. It's just yeah. decent. I don't like the idea of just running triple penalty box, and it's, you know, and that's my only trap. Like, if you're gonna go with the back row with UA, then you should go penalty box. But I'd rather just run Moreau Decree. Oh, mm -hmm. that's okay. cards. Damn, lose a turn. Is it lose a turn or lose one turn? I lose one turn is that. This is your name. Okay. Why did they change it? It's weird. Alright. Turn it. it. Sucks that you don't have your field spell. Yep. It's very necessary for the deck. Damn. It hope that you don't really gain any, ad any advantage. Welcome to old school here. Unless you're gonna get one up by back row. Is that sure. it? Is this duel over? Is this duel over? Don't tell me duel's over. This video's like 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, well, one single duel should be enough time. Like, come on. All he needs is a monster. Is he gonna beat you with a card card D? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna throw it. Beat his ass with a card card D. <laughs> Unless that back rip something stop, that's it. Damn. Welcome to old school heroes. Get one done. That deck room's like, what, 20 traps? That deck runs yeah, some back row, like, you gonna get Doesn't it. Doesn't even search Shadow Mist, lol. <laughs> Low count, monster count, high searchability, high consistency, back row. Old school heroes. <laughs> wow, alright. We're gonna let fucking... God damn it. We gotta go get another duel. <sighs> Be right back. Alright, hopefully this duel lasts at least five minutes, so. They got yep. blood once again, using them heroes probably, I'm assuming. Versus N1 who's using the Klebola, so. Yeah, my most hated deck. Damn! <laughs> and I always face it on Dev Pro as well, rated. <laughs> it's pretty much the most popular deck in there, and. Yeah, this man says that. Fuck Asian is also playing that deck, like just focusing around the towers, and that's it. Of course! Asian <laughs> nice plays it. Makes it popular, people want to hop on the dick, even though they haven't already stopped, stopped hopping on the dick. Hey man, you don't know, he might be running Yuki Isagi. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point the scouts will be limited. No question about that. Damn, yeah, you actually... I mean, Cleese have been topping. I wouldn't be surprised that you hit again. Yep. Yeah, I can see that scout being limited. It does have set precedence of being hit. You really can't point your fingers at anybody else. I guess you can point your fingers at Summoner's Art. It probably no, you can't that. because it's uh, for other uh, normal pendulum decks as well. Yeah, like ignites so. and normal pendulums, of course. Yeah, so. It wouldn't be running someone's already Or if anyone wants to scout. play it in Dark Magician deck, well, the search is not. <laughs> oh, psh. Like, don't you not want Dark Magician in your hand? <laughs> Alright. Wow. Wow, you're not gonna set me back, or you're just gonna play card card. Wow, well, that's like, wait, you just hit eight? <laughs> 
Throw the failure at him. All right. No cleaves from hand traps at the butt. He won't give me all I use out of the next seat though. So are you just gonna go ahead and uh, summon killer and win? Yeah, probably. Is it time to grab that sacrifice? See? Told you, soul sucking death worm is following us. <laughs> yeah, seems like it. <laughs> Ultra four, what the fuck? Wow. wow, like seriously, like who the fuck plays that card? It goes to the extra deck, doesn't it? Yeah, it it goes, of course. Yeah, yeah it's destroyed on summon, so it goes to the extra deck. It did hit the field. There you go. And that keep up players don't even play an exo deck. <laughs> you can always play that. Oh, he's just gonna throw the warning at you. Damn. Warning so powerful. <laughs> it ain't dead. Okay, so this will still be in uh, Land Phase 1. So it's gonna have miracle fusion into wow. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, cut him in half. Guess we're on It's unaffected, I think. Uh did he normal summon that? Normal summon that? No, he didn't try well, it. It's the still random scale is not up, so probably. Yeah, he 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 just normal summoned that, so it's only level four. Oh okay, yeah, in that case, yeah. And isn't it lower than? This card is unaffected effects from any monster whose original is lower than this, and they're the same. Right? Yeah, they're both six. <sighs> Alright, Mr. Clee player. Don't you think it's about time you go ahead and set up your scale? <laughs> no, Clee for twice has been paying so many life points. So much life points, but hey. Life points are just a resource. Doesn't matter if he wins at uh at fourteen hundred or eight thousand, a win's a win, so Yeah, that's true. Hopefully Blood Bloodkins hold up hold out. Yep, there's Monolith punching him shotgun. Man, you could have summoned killer. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't play killer. But he runs fucking shell? Like, well, what? Shell is not bad. But he could summon killer. I know. <laughs> Nigga. Whatever. Carrier. That's twenty-eight. You can make a second attack, right? Yep. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, eighteen. Yeah, almost game over. Yeah, man, it's almost game over. But not exactly yet. Yeah, thousand life points left. Damn, see? When we talk about the clip player paying life points, it doesn't fucking matter. He's gonna come back. This man's up on resources, he's gonna draw two cards during the end phase, like, I'm not sure, blood. Show me what you got. What you got left? I would have killed her to the ass. No. No, he pendulum summoned it. No. He pendulum summoned the carrier. Yeah, I don't even know what we're discussing right now. No, he punches him summoned. No, he pendulum summoned. This is stupid. 
How many chaos has went silent with the stupidity that's going on right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Holy crap. And of course. Uh, Negus. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm assuming they can have anything else to come back with anyway. All you need to do is just top deck a Regeki, throw the Regeki at him, and then just go ahead and summon your, uh, your uh, Neo Thales and poke him for game. <laughs> Alright, so that was just dumb. Once again, more crushings. <laughs> So, I'm, dead. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Omega Chaos, for joining me. No problem. Glad to join as always. Apparently, thank you, Soul Sucking Bathworm, for joining us. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I, I said in a previous video, but I'll say it again. Uh, and Chaos is doing a Q&A, so click the link in the description, go over there and ask them a question. Yeah, do it. Yep, and don't be offensive. So, yeah, uh, exactly. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys next weekend with some more DM commentary. Hopefully with much better duels. <sighs> thanks for watching.